Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Love is everywhere. Rodney Matthews, a fan favorite from Bachelor in Paradise and The Bachelorette, has officially left the market. The Bachelor Nation contestant announced his new relationship with girlfriend Ari via social media. Ronnie posted pictures of the two of them to Instagram and wrote, Quick life update. The most joyful I've ever been. In addition, Ari shared photos with her boyfriend and wrote, Made for me three. A video of the two of them from their first night together was posted by Ronnie on TikTok. He wrote, the first night I met the love of my life, alongside the video. I'll never forget that night. How lovely. In the comments section of his post, numerous of Rodney's fellow Bachelor Nation, contestants expressed their love and enthusiasm for him. Love to see it, Serene Russell wrote. Love Yale was added by Nate Olakoya. Just adore you both, Susie Evans said. We couldn't agree more with all the love, and we're just so happy that Rodney is happy. Mike Johnson also wrote, The Stuff Dreams Are Made Of. Michael Alio and Danielle Malpe's love just keeps winning hearts. On the eighth season of Bachelor in Paradise, the two met and became close because they both had lost someone. Danielle lost her fiancé to drug overdose and cancer, respectively, and Michael lost his wife. During Katie Thurston's season, Michael won over fans and stood a good chance of winning her heart. He left the show because he found it too difficult to be away from his son, which upset Katie. Danielle started her journey when Nick Vile was in charge, but she was sent home before she got to her hometown. She left shortly thereafter to volunteer as a nurse in Africa after making an appearance on Bachelor in Paradise. Michael and she both fell quickly when she returned to the beach. Continue reading to see his favorite moments with his girlfriend thus far. Michael Alio said, The best moments are the quiet times. Michael Alio wrote on Instagram that she is a place I love coming home to in the early hours, when your mind travels back to a safe place. Danielle replied, My sweet and slow love, according to Bachelor Nation. A fan claimed that they were their favorite Bachelor Nation couple and the most sincere. I love that you guys seem so real, said another. Danielle moved to Cleveland to be closer to Michael, and their relationship is still going strong. She shared that Michael has served as her rock during her difficulties with freezing her eggs and the anniversary of discovering her fiancé's overdose. Even more so, she has supported him throughout the anniversary of his wife's death from cancer. They have also taken care to create a secure environment for his son. With his son, Danielle is in unfamiliar territory, and they introduced her as a friend. According to Michael, they became close right away, and she enjoys watching him raise six-year-old James. Michael Hallio is fortunate because Danielle shares his feelings. Additionally, she shared her feelings on Instagram. After realizing the space they give each other to feel in safe place to land together, the nurse said she felt renewed in their love. She stated that they allow each other the space to be themselves whenever they want to be sad or frustrated. Danielle shared that because they've both lost someone, their feelings of fear and grief can be magnified. They have a level of understanding that few people can match. What are your thoughts regarding Michael and Danielle's journey? Please find out more about their relationship here. Submit your thoughts in the box below. Katie Biggar, a contestant on The Bachelor, went on a special date with Zach Shawcross at the beginning of the season. They even spent the night together in a museum by themselves. Production provided them with a safari-themed tent and pajamas. When the cameras stopped rolling for the night, fans have been curious about what transpired between them. Katie is now talking about their time alone in the tent. Continue reading to learn more. 
What Katie had to say about her time with Bachelor Zach Shawcross in the tent was shared by Bachelor Nation. Katie recently appeared on the Bachelor Nation and Clickbait podcast. She was confronted with difficult questions by Joe Amabel and Aaron Clancy, including whether or not they truly pushed their beds together in the tent. She claimed that they did, and that it was necessary for survival due to the extreme cold. She also acknowledged that she slept very little. Katie extended her explanations further. She said that no matter where she is, she has trouble sleeping. She even mentioned the girls as evidence. Katie didn't have any white noise at the museum because she needs it to sleep. She stated, The problem with me, though, is that I really struggle to sleep. Typically, I have a white noise machine and other accessories. Therefore, sleeping in that tent did not work. I didn't enjoy the play. I couldn't sleep, Zatch was kind of snoring, and you could hear construction in the distance. That's why I said, I didn't sleep well. While I did not sleep, I believe Zatch did. She revealed at one point that Zatch had just said goodnight and ended the conversation. As a result, they never had any sexual encounters. Nothing happened for those who think something happened, Katie stated. I didn't get enough sleep because I couldn't sleep, not because of anything else. I always have trouble sleeping, which the other girls can also attest to. When Zach had COVID, Katie gave him a big gesture in London by giving him a small gift basket. She shared that she wanted to demonstrate her care for him. She then assembled the basket, which contained a teddy bear, soup, and slippers. Fortunately, their conversation was fruitful. Katie was asked another question while Joe and Aaron were talking to her. Aaron wanted to know if, like Kat, she would have chosen to steal Zatch from charity before their one-on-one -on -one date. Katie stated that she wouldn't have done it. What is your opinion? Do you agree with Katie that they did nothing wrong on their overnight date? Keep an eye out for more updates. It's possible that Jade Roper is considering having another child soon. On the second season of The Bachelor in Paradise, she and her husband, Tanner Tolbert, met. Brooks and Reed, two year old sons, round out their adorable family. Emerson, their five year old daughter, is also theirs. Instagram photos of her children and their relationship are popular with fans. We previously mentioned Jade's admission that she constantly considers having another child. I see one more in our little family, but right now I'm so tired all the time with three littles and working, she said in 2021. She stated that Tanner is not there yet, despite her belief that they are prepared for another child. If necessary, they are prepared for a fourth. Find out how they prepared further on. Tanner and Jade Roper have discussed having another child. Jade stated to Bachelor Nation that Reed's almost two-year-old age feels like the light at the end of the baby tunnel. She also stated that she enjoys cuddling newborns. They have chosen a name for the fourth child, but only if it is a girl. They have not yet decided on a boy's name that they would use. Jade loves to take photos of special moments for her Instagram, and she recently shared a picture of the whole family wearing matching Super Bowl jerseys. In addition, she captioned a video of her three children that she posted on Instagram, Is There a Way to Slow Down Time? Sadly, no way to slow down time I've tried my babies are 18 and 16, a fan replied. Jade Roper has been very forthright about the difficulties she encountered while pregnant and afterward. She revealed that in the past, while filming B.I.P., she became pregnant, and they lost the baby. Their second child required more time and effort to conceive after their daughter's easy pregnancy journey. After having Brooks, Robert experienced PTSD and postpartum depression. She endured it for a longer period of time than she ought to have because she kept telling herself that it would improve. According to Jade, getting pregnant with her third child was the only thing that helped. 
The hormones quickly changing evened me out, she said. Jade wants people to know that people with PPD don't have to suffer. She regrets not having sought the assistance she required because there are numerous resources available. Additionally, Roper urged followers not to allow anyone to dismiss their concerns. They ought to stand up for themselves and seek the assistance they require. Would you support the couple having a fourth child? Submit your thoughts in the box below. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.